good morning to one and all uh, in this video lecture we would like to discuss about the concept regarding to t flip flop uh, in last uh, video lectures we discussed about the concepts related to sr flip flop jk flip flop and uh, d flip flop uh, in sr flip flop uh, we have uh, one condition like uh, we have uh, when s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 and s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 0 condition uh, we have the similar input uh, we can take and we can consider that D and that D can be given as for SR as we shown in the last video lecture with an inverter. Now no need to uh, consider for that uh, inverter in this particular T flip-flop. So D flip-flop is designed by considering SR flip-flop and in the last video we discussed about JK flip-flop also. Now in JK flip-flop we have a condition called no change state and toggling state so that toggling state can be directly obtained by uh, one flip-flop called t flip-flop so t is nothing but here toggle flip-flop so toggle means uh, we have uh, the 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 the uh, number of uh, ones and zeros are uh, simultaneously coming uh, within a clock period of pulse so then for then we can call this as a t flip-flop so now we would like to uh, deal the t flip-flop and how it will be uh, have the truth table yeah uh, in last class we discussed about jk flip-flop actually jk flip-flop uh, circuit diagram i have shown here so j and k those these two are the two inputs and clock is one of the input and q and q bar are the outputs now instead of having this circuit simply i would like to uh, keep uh, combining these two together and simply will keep one input called t that is called t flip-flop logic circuit diagram okay uh, that's what i have shown here in the logic diagram the j and k are combined together with uh, a single input called t so we can draw this uh, in the similar way also and the truth table you can observe here so uh, when clock is equal to 1 t is equal to 0 so when t is equal to 0 means this input terminal is 0 and this input terminal is 0 so this is what the truth table of jk i have kept here for a reference so when j is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 here you can observe when j is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 uh, what the state you are getting no change state therefore you are getting your output as no change state here and in the second condition you can consider when t is equal to 1 so we have explained t is equal to 0 just now now we need to go for t is equal to 1 condition so if I, I will consider t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 1 it means that j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 you can observe that j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 what will happen toggle state is occurring therefore i can have the representation of my truth table as toggle uh, when my clock is equals to 0 this is my another condition when my clock is equal to 0 in the last condition of uh, jk truth table you can observe when my clock is equal to 0 no change state it is by default condition therefore i can have my uh, no change condition by defaultly so this is what the explanation regarding to the t flip flop so in the next video lecture we will discuss about the excitation and characteristic table of the t flip flop so t is nothing but toggle flip flop okay right thank you